Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to save an image as a string in a SQLite database and uh, load it back in a grid view. So you may have seen my previous video on how to save an image as a string in preferences. So let's see how we can do the same thing using the SQLite database. Okay, so let's start. So the first thing we are going to need is a model class. So we are going to save a, a photo model class in the database and retrieve it back and load the image. So let's create the model class photo which has a id and a photo name and the constructor will accept the id and photo name and a to map function that will convert an object to a map and return the map so we will be using these functions uh, while we insert data to the database and retrieve it okay so the second method will reverse the action done by the previous method now we need a helper class for doing the sqli database functions we need async package iu package also please add the path provider and sqflight plugin so let's import those the sqflight path provider okay we need the Photo model as well. Class DB helper. Now let's declare the database instance and we need some variables for database column ID. Make sure this ID is same as the model ID. Okay. And name that is photo name. Okay. And we need the table name let's name it photos table next one is database name let's name it photos dot db now let's write the database functions the first one is getting the db so if the database instance is not null we will return the database instance otherwise we are going to create a new database instance so we'll be writing a new function in it db so the first thing is we need uh, the documents directory where we are going to save the database so get the documents directory and join it with our database name so that it will return the full path and call open database path version let's give it as one and let's write a new method for on create so on create with parameter database and the version and call db.execute create table table name with id and the name ideally uh, name is the photo the image string that we are going to save so for now let's do it like that so remember that the name is the photo string okay the next method is to save that photo model into the database so db client dot insert and call photo to map to insert into the table and another method to get the photos so db client dot query will return a list of maps which are the records in the database and we are going to check if they are if the maps dot length is greater than zero then we are going to look through the maps and populate the list of photos so photos dot add photos dot from map maps i okay and return the photos cool so make sure you close the database as well okay so db client dot close okay that will close the database okay now let's go back to the main file and import the files we need the image picker dot io utility db helper and photo also the async package now we need a future file because the image picker will return a future file and an image the db helper list of photos 
okay let me override the init state method and initialize the variables images to empty array pp helper okay now let's write a method to pick the image from the gallery so call image picker dot pick image and pass in the image source let's set it to image source dot gallery and that's going to return a future file so image file all right so convert that to a string to store it in the database so called utility dot base 64 string image file dot read as bytes sync okay and create a photo model let's pass the id as zero and the image string and call db helper dot save okay so that will save the photo string in the database now we need another method to load the images into the images array so db helper dot get photos that will return the list of images so list of photos so add that to images array and call refresh images once we insert into the database okay now we will show the list of images in a grid view so let's create a grid view which has a padding parent cross axis count to aspect ratio 1.0 main axis spacing of 4 and cross axis spacing also 4 and the children will be the images so look through the images images.map which will return each record make sure to convert this to a list and each cell in the grid view will return an image so called utility dot image from base 64 string so that will return the corresponding image from the string so remember that this uh, utility file is from my previous video so that will decode and encode the data and return the image okay so base 60 image from base 64 string will decode the string and return the image okay the link to the previous video is there in the description now let's add an icon to the app bar. so icon button icon uh, i can start add and on press of the button we will call the pick image from gallery okay and let's add the grid view as well okay let's uh, reload the app okay select i'll do one thing i'll delete the complete app and reinstall it again okay now it's loading okay click the button okay it will ask for the permission okay uh, it's not showing in the grid view because i forgot to call set state all right okay now it's showing uh, let's select another image okay it's inserted and retrieved back from the database let's call refresh image in the init state so it will load on the initial load okay let's add some more images okay it's fetching from the database and displaying in the grid view okay all working good okay so it's not recommended to store images in a SQLite database because it unnecessarily increases the app size so this is just for demo purpose don't do it unless it is really needed so you can have image paths in the database that's my opinion so uh, that's all in this video if you found my videos useful please subscribe to my channel share the video hit the bell icon for notifications 
Also, please leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Until then, bye.